Howdy everybody, it's Amy from Amy Sparkly Diamond Painting. I've got an unboxing for you today. Well, an unrolling? Maybe that's a better word for it. This is another package from the company Sunature. Now that video seemed to be very popular and I was curious about the, the full fairy dust drill diamond paintings and I wanted to show you all one to so you could see how it was working out. But the ones I ordered were kind of big. And because I have a lot of other things going on as we head into the fall and holiday season and all that good stuff, I thought that I had maybe bit off more than I could chew and it would be better to get a couple smaller diamond paintings. Plus, soon as you saw my video, and they offered me a freebie to show you all as a product review. And I had a little fun with it. I told them to send me a beach theme, but I did not pick out which one. So this will be a little bit of a surprise for me. I have three diamond paintings in here. All rolled up. I did take out the outer package so I wouldn't struggle with it. And I also have two others because I did an unboxing video for these two a few days ago with the hope of putting it up. And then the second package with the PR package or the, with the, the freebie arrived just a couple days later. So I went ahead and deleted that other video and I figured we'd do it all at once. So sit down, get something good to drink and be ready for a little bit longer video because there are five total diamond paintings that I have to show you. Now Sunature is a budget premium and the first couple that I bought ran around 40 to $50 each. These that I got this time around were much cheaper. So these two here that I'm going to show you in a little bit, they were $28 each regular price. And they do have deals going on at various times with getting some free, getting discounts, getting various little gifts and things. So you want to check out their website, their Facebook page, all that good stuff to see what the deals are. But we're going to start by opening this and I'm going to look for the one that they sent me for free first and then we'll take a look at the other ones. <laughs> so I'm going to move my chair out of the way because I need a little space I think with this one. So as I showed before in the first video these do come wrapped in this air sealed bubble. can't really call it bubble wrap. Um, not sure what to call it. I know you can buy this packaging on Amazon. If you're looking at sending diamond paintings to other people, you buy the roll of plastic with an air pump and you can fill it up and you can send stuff this way if you want to as well. I was looking into that in case I want to de-stash some diamond paintings. Here we go. So we have three in here and one of them, I'm guessing it's this one, I do not know what it is. And this one is a little bit bigger one. And then I have three smaller ones, or medium size maybe. So the way these come, if you didn't see my previous video, they come wrapped in a tube with a styrofoam tube in the middle to hold their shape. They have really thin elastic around, but it hasn't made any permanent mark. And then the drill packs come separately like this. And I did see some more goodies packed in here, including, look at that, isn't that pretty? And it's got some multi-placers there. We'll look at that first. And then we have the toolkits for each one. And we'll take a quick look at those. And then this was part of the reason that I got the package and the freebie to show you on my channel. These are some drills that were missing from my very first order. So they were kind enough to get them to me, but also to give me the pen and this one to unbox and show you all on my channel. So I do appreciate Sunature for offering the freebie to me as well as getting these to me so I can finish my big butterfly. So let's dig in and see what we got. And oh, by the way, Signature uh, does have really good customer service on their Facebook page. So uh, Julie is her name. 
and she works long hard hours as far as I can tell from all her posts that she's doing and all the the questions she answers all the time on that page and everything and when I contacted her she was very easy to work with very nice and I do appreciate their customer service so far so we have a basic tray we have a pen with the multi placer we have some baggies and the wax and this is the newer softer slightly darker colored wax than the old stuff that used to come in kits we have tweezers and we have a squishy so that is the toolkit that comes with these and these are squares I probably should have thought to order around but I just it's out of habit I always order squares and I didn't even think about it but I'll try to do that next time and then we got this goodie here we'll take a look at our free diamond painting pen so we have a whole package here of multi placers of various types and sizes and look at the sparkle on that hopefully you can see all that sparkle that is really pretty so it opens like this and you have one spot there and I don't think it has a double-sided one so this is where you put the tool type that you want to use so in this baggie we have various sizes of multi placers and single placers including one of the um, uh, whatchamadoodle line things trying to think of what you call it but these just slide right on and there we go and you can put this nope. pen top does not sit on the back so very lightweight and very sparkly so nice comfortable looks like drill pen and I'm wondering nope. I, I wasn't sure if this was like a flat end to keep it from rolling but it does not it does roll so there is my free sparkly diamond painting pen and the top does fit on it even with the, the single placer in there and then we got all the bag of goodies here so I'll move that off to the side and let's see what we got here so I haven't seen this canvas yet and I haven't peeked as you saw I just or opened it and we will See what we got here so it looks like now that's the one I actually ordered maybe the freebie is this one <laughs> let's find out that was a butterfly so ah okay they really took it to a mystery level look at this wow i wasn't expecting that that's pretty cool <laughs> so i don't get to su let you know what the surprise is it is a beach theme and maybe you guys can see that better in the camera than i can but we have a true mystery painting here which is really cool so let's see how many colors we have here we have 53 different colors and symbols here and because this is a black and white we're looking at numbers capital letters and various symbols here but as you can see it's square and the symbols are very clear and easy to see okay I think I sort of see what's going on here so I see water and I see what looks like a line of a beach here and this looks like trees and that looks like a cabin right there so I am cheating a little bit and this looks like the sky so yes we have a beach of some kind here with looks like lots of clouds and stuff in the sky so the canvas from them is the really soft fabric it's scalloped edge and they have the holes poked in them 
so definitely no fraying. And you have their website right there, SoonItsYourHome.com. They actually have two different websites. They're working on a new one, or it's, it's up and running. And you can also buy them on Amazon and AliExpress if you're uncomfortable ordering from their website. I've had no problems ordering from any of them. I think there are more options, though, on their uh, Soonature.com or SoonItsYourHome.com website. You can see all the options. One of the things I like about these is they are higher end, but for a budget price. And even better, you get to customize these. So you get to pick whether you want round or square, what size you want, all that. And then they will ship them to you. And they're pretty quick. I really wasn't expecting this one to show up as quick as it did but it takes maybe two two and a half weeks to get a package from them depending on how many you order and all that good stuff so there's their Facebook group so let's take a look at the drills for this one so I'm guessing ha ah, there we go that would be it so their drills come pre-bagged and they do come with an inventory sheet so you can know which pack of drills goes with which. And these are indeed squares here. And as you can see, and I'm not seeing any special drills in this one, but one of the ones I ordered for myself with my own money is an AB drill one. So we'll take a look at that. Here, but here's the inventory sheet. See, it has the symbols and how many of each color you need. And again, 53 colors, 53 bags, 378.2 grams, I guess that is. Shows the weight there and the quantity for each one. And also some basic diamond painting instructions if you've never done it before. So let's take a look at some of these bags of drills and you can see these are actually resin drills, I believe. Well, yeah. I know the fairy dust ones or the ones that they call sunshine drills are uh, resin. I'm not quite as sure about these other ones, but they look really good. There, hopefully you can see that. So we have lots of sandy colors here. Some blue for the water. I bet that's some trees there. Even some pinks and bright blues. So even though this is a beach scene, it looks like lots of different colors in here and lots of greens and pinks. There's a big bag. Purples, blues. Let's see what else is over here. Peach. More pinks. A little bit of what looks like a really dark brown there. I won't pull out all the colors, otherwise this video will take a really long time. But I'm guessing these bigger bags here at the end are the sky and the water. There are lots of blue colors in there. So that was a fun surprise because it truly is a mystery diamond painting. So we'll have to do this one. This one I may take on my trip. I'm leaving Sunday for Fort Worth for a week for a business trip and this looks like a good size to bring for a hotel room to work on so this may be the one I picked to work on for that we'll see because I have a couple others here to show you so thank you Sunature for providing this really nice mystery kit and you can see they do offer mystery kits that are pretty big size if you're you've wanted to do one and weren't real sure this is a more budget friendly way to try one out okay let's see what's next so this is the second one and this one I picked out because it was a cool rainbow looking scene with a big old butterfly on there we've got flowers and this cute little cottage this one has 54 colors that seems to be kind of about an average for all the ones i've gotten from them you can see the rendering here 
looks very clear I'm not seeing a ton of unnecessary confetti or anything like that it looks very clear but I'm curious because this one I ordered with ABs because I wanted to see how they do ABs and where they might be putting them so this one I should tell you the size well it'll be on the paper I think there it is so this is 75 by 50 there's a little thumbnail but we'll have a bigger picture I think in the drills and I'm guessing this yes there we go Oops, too much glare let me fix this Sorry about the noise. This is a lot of drills in this bag. That is full up. There we go. There's the picture. So 54 drills we have for the symbols. You can see they're uh, kind of a mixture. These are not in order the way the other one is, the way the mystery is, but we have several different standard symbols, letters that we see with typical diamond paintings. Now let's take a look and see if we can find the AB drills for this one. Ah, I see one right off the bat here. So we have, look at that pretty purple. And then I saw this one too. We have a pink and a green and another pink. That's a pretty color there. So there's four. Oh, there's another one. It's a light blue. And this is a little bit darker on all the colors. So we do have, that looks like really dark blue. Because 310 would probably be a lower number. That's another dark blue. I'm guessing that's like 823 and... Uh, is it 935? I think that's the other dark blue. There's another AB drill. That's a bright yellow. See, these are all very bright, light colored ABs, which is good. That's what I'm hoping for is light colored highlights. That's what you want to see with the ABs a lot of time, unless it's like a starry sky at night or something. Oh, wow. There's some more. I think they said something like six to eight possible ABs in each kit so there we have another yellow and an orange another light purple and a red wow that's a lot of ab's dang <laughs> and then some greens and pinks and reds look at that big bag of royal blue uh, that's really pretty and then some more greens and blues and dark purple Orange there, maroon, pink. Oh, look at that pretty turquoise. So even though this has a dark background, a lot of those colors are really bright, which are gonna help them stand out against that dark background. But here's all the ABs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got 10 different ABs in this one. That's, that's a lot of ABs. And you can see some of these bags here are really full. So I'm not gonna go through and point out where each individual AB is. You can kind of tell from some of the colors where these are gonna end up probably around the butterfly. Well, maybe we'll take a quick look and see if they stand out to me. Let me get the rest of these drills out of the way here. Get them all back in the bag. And let's see. Let's try. Looking at the symbols around the butterfly here. I'm going to try to do this. Okay, they don't really say A, B on this one. So sideways arrow. Yes, indeed. That's in the butterfly wing. Let's see if 54 is letter K. That's not in the butterfly. That is in some of the background here. That's up here in the sky. 
and maybe in some of the flowers. Let's see, 49 is that turnaround arrow. Let's see if we can find that. Yes, definitely all over the wings. So this butterfly is going to be blinged up. So I'm guessing that's what a lot of these ABs are going to be for based on the colors. And maybe we're highlighting the windows a little bit and a couple of the flowers. Let me make sure I get all of these in there with the inventory sheet because we still have more to go. So that's a good deal for, for these. I need to look up the prices and I will put them after the video. I'll edit and stick them in there in the corner somewhere where you can see them because I don't have my computer handy with me or my tablet where I can tell you the prices. So yes, this is where a lot of the bling is going to be, is in that butterfly. And I'm guessing must be holiday time because that looks like possibly a wreath on the door. So this should be a fun one because I think those bright colors are really going to stand out against this dark background. So that's going to be really cool. So I'm happy with that one. Let's see what's next. And you might be able to tell here already by looking at some of these colors here, what we have. These are, let me double check before I say it. Oh, these are regular drills. Okay, I wasn't sure if I got the fairy dust or the regular on this one. So this is regular, but don't worry. I've got a fairy dust one coming up here in a minute. So we've got another one here and I went kind of to offset the dark one I went for a light one here and this one is pretty rolled up so I'm gonna and like I said they do come with these little tubes to keep them from getting bent but this one is rolled pretty tightly so I'm going to unroll it for you real quick off camera here There we go. Almost there. This is a little bit bigger one. Let's see. This is a 60 by 75. But I wanted all the detail in it. And it's still kind of roly-poly here at the end. Let's see if I can fold this back. But if you let them sit for a minute, they will settle themselves. Because this is poured glue. It's... There we go. It's definitely going to settle, but we have a pastel moon there, if you can see that, with a bunch of flowers and, of course, another butterfly. So that end just wants to roll right now. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> this is a roly-poly one. So look at all those pastel colors, the bright flowers, the large flowers there. Hold it up so you can see. This one's a little more confetti heavy, which is why I picked this one. Plus the pastels and kind of the subtle design there in the background. Kind of like a mandala design around there in the back. So I just thought this would be a really good spring design to do here. So open up and take a look at the drills here. So these was big enough that they had to get two bags to fit all the drills. So I don't want to lose that. I will be sure and put that back with the other ones. So this is square plus fairy dust. So it does have some fairy dust in there, but not the whole painting. Yeah, so there's what it looks like. And it looks like we have it marked on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different prairie dust colors. Very nice. So the fairy dust have little bits of silvery glitter that are mixed in with the resin, 
which gives a little more subtle shine than say the AB drills which you saw in the previous painting which are really sparkly. Here are some of the fairy dust. So you can see it's got that silvery glitter and it's not on top of the drill, it's actually within the drill so it won't fall off or get stuck in your pen or anything like that. It is mixed in with the, the resin to make those drills. So those are some of the fairy dust colors right there. Let's see what else we have. Let's see, this one looks pretty sparkly. Yes, so this is a fairy dust as well. So they're a little more subtle, but they do still add a lot of shine to your diamond painting. So you can already see here from this, it's a, a lot more grays and pinks and kind of dusty type colors, I guess you'd call them. So this would be good like in a bathroom or maybe a girl's room. Very, very subtle uh, colors, but yeah, very pastel-y. Trying to think of how else to describe it. Lots and lots of grays in there. So I won't go through all the drills in this one. But you can see there's quite a few drills in this one. All those bags are really full because this was a bit bigger one. I was trying to get some smaller ones, but I didn't think this one would look as well in a smaller size. I really thought this one needed a bigger size because we want some of the details there and some of the smaller flowers and in the butterfly there. So this one definitely more confetti heavy. There you can see. Which if you're new to diamond painting, confetti means lots of color changes in a small area, just a few drills of each color here and there, and it gives a lot more detail. Whereas color blocking is something more like down here in the background where you have large areas of one color. So that is that one. And my preference is for confetti. I find it a little less boring than color blocking. I, I do prefer confetti, so that's why. I picked that painting. Now these other two I already opened because I did try to record before, but I just went ahead and deleted that and decided to do all this as one big video for you. So these are a little bit smaller so I could try out and complete a couple of these in a reasonable amount of time so I could show you what a completed one looks like. But I thought that was really cute. We have a mama and a daddy dragon with a little baby dragon there hatching out of the egg with a couple other eggs. So this one is a small one. This is 50 by 50. I say small. It's really not that small. So a 50 by 50 size uh, runs about $28 if you're curious about the prices here. And again, these are all of them are these nice soft canvases with the scalloped edges, poured glue, all that good stuff. So this one has 45 colors there, a little bit of a glare. So not quite as much detail in there, but still we got the flowers on the, the head of the dragon there that still show up pretty well. And I probably won't open and show all the drills on this one. Let's see, there are fairy dust in this one. So this one is the 50 by 50 and it is a fairy dust. So maybe we will take a look at a few of these because this one was one of the ones that's full fairy dust, but I think the one I really want to show you fairy dust wise is the next one and you'll see why. So these are what the fairy dust drills look like and if you saw my other video that silver color especially on the dark ones can kind of change the color of the drills just slightly which is why I was really curious what a full fairy dust painting looks like. I've done a full rhinestone which has a very different look to it but I haven't tried a full fairy dust before so that's why I got a couple of these that were a little bit smaller that I could 
finish a little bit quicker so you can see the full effect when it's done. But these are all fairy dust drills. So that's why if you're thinking $28 for a 50 by 50, well, it's full fairy dust. So these are all resin fairy dust drills. There, lots of bright colors on this one. I love the turquoises, turquoises, <laughs> the turquoise blues and the bright blue there, the bright purples. So lots of very bright colors in this one. And it's cute. We got that cute little dragon baby there. So that is why I picked this one. But the last one is the one, well now there's two because I want to do that mystery painting. But this one coming up here is the one I wanted to finish and show you. This is another 50 by 50 and it's a large butterfly in full fairy dust. And that's why I thought this one would be a good one to show you how a full fairy dust diamond painting looks. So let's see, roll this one the other way. There we go. So this one has, again, 45 colors, 50 by 50 square. And you can see the, the butterfly should come out really well because it is the main focal point for this. So even though it's a slightly smaller diamond painting, it is a very large butterfly. So all the details should come through on that one. And then we got the flowers and the darker drills around the edges. So we can see how the darker ones look on the background against the lighter colors of the butterfly. So I have not opened these drills yet, but I think I'm going to kit this one up. I actually bought some more little bead uh, containers to take this one with me to Fort Worth here next week and kit this one up and work on it because I think that's small enough that I can work on it on a hotel room desk without too much trouble. And I'll kind of be stuck in hotel rooms without my dogs to distract me and without dinner to cook and all those other things. So I should have extra diamond painting and cross stitch time. So those are what I got from Sunature. So again, Facebook group at the bottom. Check out their website for all the variety. I like the fact that you can customize and choose what you want. I need to order a round next time though because everything I did was squares because that's just what I prefer. And I think this one will go on the trip with me. So we'll roll that one up and have it ready to go. And then the other ones that I had again were the big moon. I think that one's going to be really pretty and fun. And then we had the butterfly with the, the cottage there. And then we had the baby dragon with the dragon parents. And finally, we have the one I'm probably most curious about, and that's the mystery painting. And this one, by the way, is a 50 by 70. So this one, I do thank Sunature for sending me this painting to show you and review for you. And I'm going to get to work on these right away so I can tell you what I think. But so far, thumbs up for what I worked on on one of the the ones from the first video that I showed you all. So thumbs up on customer service, thumbs up on budget friendly, really good deals. Your money goes really far. They have sales, all that good stuff. And thumbs up on the drills so far. Those fairy dust drills that I worked on for that larger butterfly. Wow, they were nice. So I'm hoping to see some of the same here. So we have different examples here. We have the regular drills with the mystery grid and then we have the AB drills and the fairy dust so I'll be showing you some results on that one soon so thanks again to Sunature and check them out like I said you can go to AliExpress you can go to Amazon 
and you can go to their soonitsyourhome.com website. I'll put the links all down below in my description, but if you're not comfortable ordering on their website or AliExpress, then you can check out what Amazon has, but they probably don't have quite as many variety on Amazon and all the customization you can do that you can get on the website. So thank you for watching and I will be back soon.